Good evening, Michigan. Back at you guys with another evening review, nighttime review, lunchtime review. So, I'm at lunch, and I was like, yo, I just heard a commercial. Using yo is so stupid. Anyways, I heard a commercial that uh, Wendy's came out with the pretzel baconator. So, again, like I said, Wendy's, McDonald's, or Wendy's, Burger King, and White Castle, the only places that are open at work at the time I take lunch in this neighborhood. So, I was like, hey, let's go try it out. I don't remember ever having a Baconator, so I never had one before in the first place. Every time I went to Wendy's, it was, I was always like a chicken nugget with fries guy, this and that, so I never really had it a lot. Sometimes I might have got a chicken sandwich. Anyways, how you guys doing? I hope this foodie page. Uh, let us know how you feel about that, and post some recipes on there. Post whatever you want on the page, uh, even, you know, whatever it is. Just not porn. Not porn. Bots have been hacking and porn, posting a lot of porn on that page. So, no. Anyway, so we're at Wendy's in Chesterfield. Pretty sure it's Chesterfield. Now, earlier today, I went to go do this. And again, it was like 9 o'clock in the morning at the Wendy's on Gratian. I want to call that out. They suck. They suck really bad. So, it was it was in the morning. And I walk in there. I'm like, hey, man, um, you guys have the pretzel? And he... First, oh, I'm sorry. So we get there. The doors are locked. They're supposed to be open. It's like 10, 15 minutes after. Finally, I see a guy come out. And he goes, you got to go to the other door. I'm like, okay. So I go to the other door. I walk in, and the guy's just, I guess, not having a good day. Uh, and he goes, oh, what's going on? I go, well, I was like, do you guys have the pretzel? He's like, we're only doing, bake. We're only doing breakfast. Doing breakfast. I'm like, all right, my bad. You're right. I kind of didn't really notice it. But fast food, at that time, they're only doing breakfast. My bad. I'm like, do you guys actually serve the pretzel bacon air though, so I know if I come back later on. He's like, I think we do. I'm not sure. The guy was just a dickhead. I think it's 16 and a half in Grasha. That's right. 16 and a half in Grasha Wendy's. You guys fucking suck. Suck really bad. Terrible customer service. Anyways, let's crack into the review. I got the fries too, because I don't think I've ever rated the fries. But if I have, they're usually just plain Jane fries. fries are way better than normal Winnie's fries that I remember having. I think the last time we did Winnie's, we did the um, chicken sandwich, and those fries were garbage. They were really garbage. But anyways, how have you guys been doing? Hope everything's good. Uh, ghost pepper ranch sauce. I don't know how this tastes, but I'm going to be trying it out. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not a fan of ranch. Not a big ranch guy. But it says ghost pepper on there. I'm going to try it out. So, new item, Wendy's pretzel bun baconator, again, I think they canceled the baconator out, or am I wrong, I'm not sure, because I never had it, instead of American cheese, I got Asiago cheese on mine, comes with six strips of bacon and two patties and American cheese, but again, I got Asiago on mine, it is what it is, Ooh, and it looks actually pretty good, it looks presentable. Doesn't look bad at all. Oh, and ketchup, too. I don't know why they wouldn't put mustard on there, but let's see, actually. Maybe they did, and I'm wrong. But I think online it just said, this actually looks really good. Oh, my God. The cheese is, you know, somewhat melted. Ketchup. Patties look good. Not bad. It's, it's melty cheese. It's not bad at all. Pretzel bun, soft on fleek. Uh, actually... Might be a little overcooked, but who knows? Let's take a bite. Bacon is a little chewy. I don't think it's necessarily fake in bacon. It's a little chewy. good this my only issue with Wendy's burger patties I know they're not frozen or whatever they always just don't have a flavor there's like no flavor to it I know McDonald's doesn't really either but you can still taste usually with those fast food burgers like at least like a char or like a something like just a little bit of a char flavor to them kind of 
Wendy's does it. This is good though. Like again, I'm not saying the burger patties are the best, but the flavors actually work out really good together. I'm gonna give this the pretzel baconator. Again, the pretzel bun actually works. It goes really good. It makes a nice, chewy, moisture texture inside. The beef is pretty juicy, and the cheese, I guess, yeah, try with the Asiago. That goes a lot better. I'm gonna give it. You know, the bacon is a little chewy. But it kind of goes with the sandwich. I would put mustard on the sandwich. <clears throat> the Asiago cheese is better, I think, than the American cheese. But now that I'm trying to, like, I'm getting into it, that chewy bacon does go with the pretzel bun. So it kind of makes sense. Um, I'm going to give it real quick. This is a good burger. I would actually try it. I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's actually a nice burger. I know last time I did Wendy's Burger, I didn't give it nowhere near the sevens. I gave it way lower. This, to me, is a must-try. It's above a neighborhood spot. It's in that must-try. Uh, really, really good. Let's try it with the ranch and see if that does anything. Ghost Pepper Ranch. Again, not a ranch guy. Not really a ranch guy. No. Not really, to be honest with you. Ranch doesn't make two cents to it. It doesn't make a lot of sense to it. Anyways, fries. Be fast. I like these Wendy's fries. Nice and salty. Usually when I get them down in my neighborhood, they suck. They taste really bad. This one actually tastes really, really good. Oh, and remember, guys. If you want us to review any of your products, anything like that, send us an email. Let me know. We'll get it done. Fries. Really good. I'm going to give them a 6-4. Good fries. Not bad. Good fries. 6-4. Other than that, pop, their Coke. It's a little watered down, but it's not a bad watered down. Uh, 5.2. It's, it's a lunchtime thing. Anyways, other than that, remember the three most important things in your life. That's your faith, your family, and food. Until next time, stay safe. And also, I'm pre-recording these videos, so hopefully... Michigan beat Ohio State and the Lions are going 10 and 2. Again, I got to go on a fast. All right, stay safe, boys.